Hello again, everyone. It's Jeremy. I got another video for you. Today, we're looking at my custom Lego road grader. Believe it or not, Lego has never released an official Lego road grader set. There's been a couple that have been in like some multi classic build sets where, you know, you build 10 different models or, you know, five or six creator type sets before they did this, you know, three in one creator stuff. They just had basic sets where you could build a bunch of different things, houses, cars. That's really the only time they've ever had a road grader and it's more of an ideas type thing, like an idea booklet. But they've never released an official Lego road grader. So this is my set. It's not perfect. I'm still not totally 100% content, satisfied with it, but I think I'm at least content for now. There might be some upgrades and changes in the future. So let's get into it. You can see I use Technic wheels. Um, I don't know if these are still made or not in the yellow. Honestly, I, I'm not sure. I'll try to zoom in on it. I've got a nice engine block. I'll turn that around to the other side. It's a little bit different on the other side, not much. You see the roller skate pieces and rounds and circular, circular pieces just to try to get something to break up that, you know, flat black design. My exhaust, got my hazard lights on the top, some tail lights on the back and a little bit of a bumper. Our road grader comes equipped, just like most of them. You're gonna have a shovel on one side. I figured I don't know what else to put on the other, so just a big wrench. Cause I'm, every time, at least in my county, every time I'd see one, It'd be broken down or something would be messed up with it. So I figured I'd just give this guy who's going to run this a nice big wrench to deal with. Um, let's open the cab. And believe it or not, these doors, these three panel doors, are really hard to find. I had to buy two of them and I had to order them from Europe because no seller in the U.S. on BrickLink had two doors with this design. No matter what the interior color or, you know, clear kind of a dark trans or the trans blue and <laughs> they really don't exist and it, I had to order them from Europe so it took me a while to get this my interior is very basic steering wheel and a seat and a little bit of uh, spacing just to get him high enough to where he can see out just a regular window piece on the front that does open up a lot of those a lot of uh, road graders do so here is my inspiration picture um, of a road grader, and it was actually a toy road grader, I think from Ertl, that makes the, uh, the metal die-cast toys. So here's that, just for a reference. All right, so other things that we have, let's see some other little uh, aspects. My one-by-one -one blue plate, or sorry, my one-by-one -one black tile. Well, I have no idea where that came from. That's just my gas cap. We'll look at the front. I do have, wow, I am totally out of the frame. I do have articulation on the front tires just a little bit. You can kind of see I had to use this plate with the bar and then the uh, yellow one by four plate to try to stop these from turning so sharp. Try to get that in, in frame. And what that does, that doesn't allow the blade, it comes just short. I mean, it like barely just short. You can kind of see it doesn't touch, but it almost does. To where they didn't get hung up into each other and cause each other to fail or get stuck. Um, the other, let me zoom out a little bit. The other aspect is my blades. You can kind of see... These pieces on the back here don't allow it to turn any deeper or have any more force to go backwards. And there we go. So I do have a decent amount of articulation there. Um, I don't have any kind of up and down on it like a real road grader does, but I'm content with just front and back. That's good enough. Um, I got my little wheel weight, front counterweight on the front of there, that's at least what that's supposed to represent. you notice that if you go back to that uh, picture that I use for a reference. Um, it rolls perfectly fine. 
The one weak point of connection is right there. Um, there's nothing really I can do about that. If I want to use this piece, which is just a long plate, I'm content with it. You know, like I said, it's not 100% the way I want it to be, but I'm pretty content at this point. I've worked on it so long and I've waited so long for these doors and stuff to come in. I'm just kind of done with the build. It's like, it, it's good enough. It, it, it's fit, you know, it fits what I'm going to use it for. So perfect for what I plan on doing. Now, let's look at a set that came out early 2000s. I think 2003 or 4-ish. And it's one of the uh, track hoes. Let's see how it compares in size. You know, fairly, uh, fairly comparable in size. You know, the track hose are usually a lot larger machine. Road graders are a lot longer. So, you know, from a minifigure standpoint, I think it's pretty decent. Move this here. That way you get a better uh, understanding of it. But yeah. That's what I got for today, guys. It took me a while to build this just to get the custom aspect of it, especially this greater bucket system. Now, these are two separate blades I've just kind of put together. You know, if I wanted to, I could, you know, separate them like that. I just like the one long blade. Just like that, it works great for grading. Um, you know, if I thought about it, I might end up making something like this, get another couple of these dark gray blades. Great for... Uh, you know, like a greater blade for my tractor um, for my farm setup. So I might look into that. I've, I've played with it a little bit, trying to get the right connection points. Still working on that. But that's what I've got for today, guys. My Lego road grader, since Lego itself won't make an official one, I figured I'd make my own. Another aspect, I might come back at this uh, in the future and look at this. One thing that another other road graders have attachment wise they do sometimes have digger plows on the back uh, to break up rough rock or rough gravel and another aspect when i was little before the tractors started having these boom mowers that reach out you know when you can cut up on the trees they used to put them on these road graders where the road grader would just drive down the road and you know mow on this i've made a boom mower for my lego tractors I got to redesign it just a little bit. So I might come back to that in the future and just show that aspect of it for my road grader. Um, you basically take the blade off, put a counterweight on one side and you've got your boom mower on the other and you just come along and mow all the stuff along the side of the road as the road grader goes. A lot bigger machine, so it, you know, it takes more gas. It's harder to get into smaller places, but it's probably a lot safer when you're driving because it's a big yellow tractor, a big yellow road grader going down the road. You're not really going to run into it and you're going to sure see it well before you get right up on it. That's what I got for today, guys. Like I said, like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.